Hello and welcome to ADTV. You join myself and Phil Spinks back on the banks of Homersfield Lakes targeting Tench. Now it was quite an early start to meet Phil here this morning and uh, I was going to ask you is there any advantage of getting down the lake that early? Yeah definitely I think um, early mornings and Tench go hand in hand. Um, this time of year the early mornings are really early. I came down late last night yeah. and set my bivvy up and so I'm here for first light. It's, um, it can be painful getting up at bus two in the morning to yeah, be here for yeah. first light so it's nice to wake up in the lake all the yeah. rods are marked up and ready to fish so you just get up bait up and you're fishing did you did you have an area that you were looking for is this sort of an area of this lake that you're looking out for for the tench definitely definitely i think there's certainly hot spots for tench in in, in this lake yeah. it's what i tend to look for are the shallower weedier areas I don't bung my feeders in the middle of the weed beds, yeah. but if you find where the weed stops and it then starts clearing, there's normally a bit of gravel yeah. just off yeah. the weed. Um, the tench seem to like it, mm -hmm. and the bream don't seem to like right. it. Okay. So it's a good spot to catch the tench from, yeah. Yeah. but it's also a good spot to try to reduce yeah. the amount, because there's quite a lot of bream in here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so then once you sort of found your area, you're sort of looking to build up an area with some bait. Um, yeah, yeah the, again, um, I'm using my marker sticks to, to fish mm -hmm. very accurately. Yeah. Um, I'll normally have a cast run with a marker float. I like to find a nice clear spot as, as close to the weed right, as I can yeah, without yeah. encroaching in the weed. Yeah. Um, and then both rods are at the same distance and my yeah. spot's marked yeah. up. And then it's a process of yeah. building the swim up by casting feeders and, and the regular spawning yeah. over the top. Yeah. So what sort of baits have you gone in to start with, sort of feed that area? I started off, and silly as it sounds, I find smaller baits like yeah. casters and maggots for me tend to pick up the bigger tench. Right, okay. Um, and it worked fine first thing this morning, yeah. straight away yeah. the first few bites were all tench mm -hmm. and it was all looking quite good but the more bait I started to put through the yeah. swim, yeah. the more roach they got started to, it. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and so a bit later in the morning to, to stand a yeah. better chance of the tench, mm -hmm. um, I've done away with the, I was using the fake rubber casters on a hairy, right, okay. I've done away with those and we've, we've used we've little, little 12 mil boilies, yeah. Just, yeah. just to try and target the tench amongst all the ropes, you, if I cast a feeder out there now with okay. maggots or casters yeah. on, before I even get the bobbin, the, on, the bobbin on, yeah. the, the ropes yeah. are on there. There, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. And what what sort of rigs you said? Sort of you've moved over. So you're fishing uh, sort of feeders with a little with the with the rubber maggots. Or yeah, I've gone. I've, I've used three different rigs since right. I've been here. <laughs> I, I started off with inline maggot feeders. Yeah. yeah. And hair rig rubber casters in conjunction with those. Yeah. And that was fine. I've caught a couple of tench doing that. Um, I felt the maggot feeders were attracting even more and more roach in the swim. It's, yeah. This doesn't apply to every pit that you fish, but this particular pit has got a lot of roach in it. So you, you have to try and single out the tench yeah. from the roach. Yeah. Um, I then changed over to little flat method feeders with the rubber casters. Right, okay, yeah. Um, and again, I've, I've caught a couple of tench on that yeah, method, yeah. but then more and more, more and more roach have turned up to the yeah, party as yeah, more and more yeah. bait goes in the swim. So um, we've ended up putting little I have a little bright 12 mil pop-ups on yeah. or a little 12 mil. Still feeding that swim or? Yeah, it definitely, if things die off and I pick the spot rod up mm -hmm. and, and top the swim up, yeah. you'll get a little run of activity afterwards. But yeah. you, you can physically see when the spawn or the feeder hits the water in, yeah. in here, you can yeah. see the roach boiling on the top. On the top, take the ground bits the, bits of the hardest thing about catching the, the tench today yeah. is, is, is not catching, catching the roach. roach. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a bit of a challenge, so, and you've already had some, so now you sort of maybe moved on to the bigger bait for a few more. Hopefully, yeah. Have a job, so give it a go. Here's the result from a Kraken's morning's tense fishing. You've seen how Phil does it in the rigs that he uses. How about getting out there and giving it a go yourself? <laughs> 